Hey, how you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring boss guide. Today we're going to be taking on the Tree Sentinel Dragon version. <laughs> Anyways, when the, when the fight starts, you just get up to him and then get a few hits in. And then pretty much try to stick towards the shield side if possible. Um, yeah, if you want to... I don't know if you really want to stay on the hammer side, because it the hammer has AoE when it like lands. See? That splash, if it hits your horse, there's a good chance it'll kill it or stun you or kill you. So try to avoid that. What I would what I was doing the whole fight is I'm just like strafing around and I <laughs> this fireball thing, I don't know. Sometimes the dodge works, sometimes it doesn't. I like there's no other way to dodge it. Unless you're on foot. Okay, this that's the thing about this fight. I would do this fight on foot, but once it's once it kicks into stage 2, it's annoying. Like, this guy gets this lightning thing, and if you're up close and personal fighting him with, while well, he has the lightning thing, he can send it around him. And you're not gonna have time to run away. You're not gonna get out that AOE blast in time, so... That's why I'm doing this on horseback. Uh, like, on foot is super easy if you stay on the... On the shield side, because it only has the scoop attack and then the... The stab. See, this AoE thing, if you're near him, you're kind of just screwed on foot. Like, you're not going to run out in time. Like, if you're, <laughs> if you're doing a swing or whatever, and that does that AoE lightning thing, good luck getting out. So, yeah, I'm <laughs> forced to use the, the horse back to this one. And we managed to get a stun here. Like... If you have to get damage in on the axe, or not the axe, the hammer side, just get one hit. Okay. I mean, you can try two hit, but you might be pushing it. So, yeah, I like to just get one hit if I have to get damage in. The shockwave thing, you have to strafe around him. But the bullshit thing is, if you're directly in front of him and he sends that, it's there's, there's no way to avoid it. You can try jumping it. I've tried, and it always kills my horse, so... And when your character gets dismounted, when your horse dies, your character will fall ass first and it will look a little confused. Uh, and <laughs> you're susceptible to damage when it happens. That lightning, did, that lightning thing that it did with the shield where it only sends out like a few coming at you. That one, I found that if you run, if you strafe in a circle, like when you're circling around the boss, you can easily avoid that. But if you're strafing left or right, it does not dodge. Like, the lightning will track so hard, it'll hit you and your mount. And there's a good chance it'll just kill your mount and dismount you. So, yeah, uh, pretty rough boss fight here. Uh, here are my equipment. And here are my stats. And finally, here's the map. For if you guys want to fight this boss yourself, it's up here. Uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching and hope to catch you all later. Hope so.